Hello, Leo. It's my lady, and this is my lady's way tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly hmm, reading in the week of February 6th through the 13th. The cards I am using today are under a bunch of stuff. Um, Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Raven Phelan. And I'm close. No, this is my close off. I'm opening up with Oracle of Visions by Kiro Marchetti. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, setting up personal readings, commenting, and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Leo? Wow. So I heard aggressive. So either somebody is being aggressive with the Leo or Leo is being aggressive with someone. Okay. Um, I know a lot of Leos and they may come off aggressive. Um, but they, they usually pretty street, uh, sweet people, but they don't play no games. Okay. I'm not playing. Hold on. Um, I ain't playing with nobody kids. Okay. That's like most of the Leos, I know they always saying they I ain't playing with nobody kids, and I, they don't care how old you are. <laughs> I ain't playing with nobody kids. All right, let's keep doing memory lane. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. I do want to thank thank everybody for uh like sharing and subscribing and commenting. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right. All right. Ooh. All right. We're starting off with this one. So we got card number 20 reversed here. So this makes me feel like um, somebody is letting go of some kind of belief system. Belief system. Okay. Belief system. Um, Some kind of uh, leader. Some kind of uh, religion. Okay. Uh, just possibly some kind of hope or help in, in someone. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we got card number 35, reverse. So I do feel like somebody did isolate themselves um, for a while. Uh, and I do feel like it's because there's lo loss of hope. I do feel like it sent somebody into some kind of sadness, uh, cornered up depression. I do feel like somebody's coming out of that isolation, uh, coming out of that time alone. Okay. What the heck happened there? Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Let me see if we got anything else. This I don't know what I just did, but I know this is the card. <laughs> okay, so we have the contract agreement. This contract agreement has been broken or is in the process of being broken. I do feel like this is one of the reasons I am not feeling so great, or I wasn't feeling great, or I was in isolation or sadness or depression. But I do feel like I'm getting out of some kind of agreement contract and I'm getting out of this sadness, sad energy. Okay. I almost feel like I was stuck somewhere. Ooh. All right. So we got card number 45 here. So I do feel like somebody was being controlled. Okay. Remember, I, just a second ago, I said I felt trapped. So it looked like somebody was in a controlling situation. Um, I do feel like it might have been some breakdown that happened in there, but I do feel like I am getting stronger. I'm getting over this. Okay. I'm getting stronger, over, and better. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm. It's, listening, it's making me hear that aggressive aggression again it keeps in aggressive 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 so i do feel like somebody could have been pretty aggressive with me okay all right so we got card number 27 here so it looked like somebody was very attractive very charming um but i do feel like it was very devious manipulating and controlling as well okay um i do feel like somebody was trying to make it seem like um, everything was all peaches and cream. And, you know, when we got alone, it, this person turned to a monster, okay? And I do feel the energy that they were trying to make me seem bad. But it was all a show. Um, 
I do feel like somebody said, used to say things. <sighs> I feel like somebody just was like doing some sneaky stuff. Like I'm saying like little stuff that I know that's going to make you mad. And when I snap, it make me look aggressive. And then I feel like I'm sicking other people on this person. And I feel like uh, it's making me look like the aggressor. And that made me tuck in and calm down because I didn't want this perception. But in reality, this person was training me. Okay. This person was clearly doing some training here. So we dealing with a master manipulator here. Okay. This is like the top shelf right here. Mm. All right. So we got card number 47. So I do feel like somebody has people around them. I heard anniversary. So this is a trigger for some of us. This is um back in the past thing. I do feel like somebody may have something going on that's bringing up this energy again. Okay, this could be in the past. For some of us, we're going through it now. But I do feel like the majority of this is a past event. Okay, um, I do feel like you got friends, family, co-workers that's going to be there for you. Um <sighs> Yes, I do feel like people from the other side, ancestors, are there for you, helping you, um, helping you get over this, okay? So I do feel like somebody, a lot of people, maybe inside of one of the loops, the trigger loops, and um, they're making their way back out now, nah, okay? But I do, this person that you were dealing with looked at just so kind and so sweet, but they say something little that just knew you was going to fly off the rails, and then it... And then it looked like you the monster, okay? But in reality, you know, they didn't say some real horrible stuff. Mm. Let's keep going. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. So we got card number 24 here. So with this card number 24, I do feel like you're getting ready to let things go. You're getting ready to let the people go, let the energy go, um... Of all these people, or this no, of of this person is doing this to you. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of people around, though. I do feel like these people helping you. This could be family too, and I heard groups. So somebody could be in some type of counseling group about about this situation. But whatever it is going on, definitely gonna be helpful. Okay, but I do feel like somebody's working on letting it go. Okay, so we got card number forty two reverse. So with this card number 42, I do feel like somebody was definitely on the highest level of solitude here. Um, I do feel like somebody was only thinking about what they wanted to do, but never wanted to do it. I'm talking about nothing. Um, but I do feel like somebody is getting out of this feeling of being isolated, wanting to be isolated, wanting to be alone, okay? So let's see what's going on with uh, Dreams of Gaia. What's going on with the dreams of Gaia for the Leo? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. So we got the, let's put this up here so we got the six of wands reversed six of fire reversed so i do feel like yeah somebody's just not um there yet emotionally to get over this situation okay um but i do feel like that people the people the spirits the ancestors around you are going to keep helping you and give you that strength to move away to move along to move on okay all right so we have the six of earth reverse so with this six of earth reverse i do feel like somebody put a lot of time a lot of effort into this situation into this relationship um and i do feel like somebody's getting ready to let this or or getting ready to get some help or or just getting ready to put effort into getting over um this situation i feel the energy of i'm not about to let you take any more of my time okay not about to take my time i do feel like in that situation also i feel like i was always given 
and never receiving, okay? It was just like I'm always at the bottom of the deck, okay? Nobody ever gets me, sees me, unless they see me going off. So it looked like I'm not that great of a person, but that wasn't that wasn't it at all. Okay, that's not me. All right. So we got the Eight of Swords reverse, Eight of Air. So I'm about to put her out, y'all. I'm sorry. I just don't want to put her. You, you ain't coming back in. You're done. You're done. 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 Sorry. So we got the Eight of Swords reverse. So with this Eight of Swords reverse, I do feel like somebody's breaking out of this mental prison here. And I do feel like it's coming from the ancestors, the family members, the friends that are there for you. Definitely getting some help here, which is awesome. 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 Ooh. Okay. There we go. All right. This is sideways. So we got the crone here. So, hmm. So this makes me feel like somebody is, let me look at this card a little bit. Ooh, so uh, somebody is not going to be very nice when they get out of this, <laughs> okay? Um, somebody is not going to be very nice. I do feel like I'm going to be very aggressive, like at, at the beginning, very aggressive. I do feel like I'm not looking for the same things um, when it comes to people, but I will look for the same traits, okay? So definitely somebody is going into warrior mode as soon as they get out of this situation. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, somebody's playing a lot of games here. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands here. So I do feel like somebody has been fighting to move on to stay in this situation for some, quite some time. I feel like I'm not I'm not fighting no more. I'm getting ready to give up. I'm exhausted, okay? And I do feel like once somebody does hand, hand in those keys, they're going to feel a lot better about, you know, what's going on. But... Everything that happened is going to be able to settle in. And I do feel like that's when the uh, isolation is going to start. Okay. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.